Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we have here a complete build guide for Fenny. So just want to give you guys an overview of the character. So she basically is going to be uh, mainly used as a support for those who don't know much about her kit. Uh, although she is a very decent sub DPS if uh, we'll see later in the demo. So... Uh, without further ado, but before that, um, again, for those who haven't gotten her, we got her yesterday for free, including her logistics. So please claim those now, because again, um, you would want to, you know, uh, try out her kit, her build once you have her or you have received her in your account. So proceeding to Fenny here. So it's a bit confusing on the fennies that we have. So I already have the, the skin, but we'll use the default one because I find this um, oddly um, more appealing for me. So without further ado, let's start off with her skill. So she is Fanny Starshine or some of you guys are calling Fanny SS starting off with her uh, standard skill. Dazzling Comet. Okay, this skill, take note that if you got this one, um, Dazzling Comet has no longer a cooldown. So if you got the first neural skill, this will be obviously B0. Increases the number of bullets in the Star Gym clip provided by Dazzling Comet by 50%. So those are the neural skills that you will be adding to this skill. So basically, just to sum this up, um, her standard skill has three abilities. You have the first one here, dashing to the side. This one is going to be uh, Star Gem Clip Ruby. So it increases kinetic damage. So you use a directional to the side, then use your standard skill. This will have more kinetic damage. Um, dashing forward consumes... 15 as energy to obtain a star jump clip which is gold with 10 bullets as well no it's only 10 um ruby has 30. so this becomes a um, a slower shot interval but this are more on your explosive round so take note of that again for your for this skill you can spam this skill um as long as you know the rotations because this skill definitely is consuming as energy um and the third one so this one is going to restore your s energy so if you have been using uh ruby and gold definitely sapphire will replenish your s energy because although you can still use the skill the amount of bullets are going to be limited as you can see here if s energy is insufficient Fanny can still use her standard skill to consume remaining S energy and replenish a proportionate amount of bullets for her Star Gym clip. So again, if you want if you want to use her as your main DPS or a sub DPS, take note that you have three options for her ballistic damage. All have directional um, inputs up together with the standard skill. Forward again is for AOE. Uh, side is for more damage for one bullet for kinetic damage and um, to the back is going to be um, a regeneration of S energy. Take note that if you just press the the your your standard skill button, it's automatically going to be going to the back. Okay, so take note of that. Um, for, for the others, you have to select a direction for your standard skill. Again, this is going to be useful later in our demo, so just take note of this. But for the bread and butter of her kit, it's going to be Inspiring Call, which is her support skill. When deployed, oper operative doesn't have a Star Stone clip, they deal crit hit or, or hit a weak spot, decreases the cooldown of Inspiring Call by one second. This effect has a cooldown of one second charge of stacks of inspiring call increases to three so take note these are the additional neural skills that you can add to your support skill we'll talk about neural um skills in a while let's finish off the support skill first so basically this gives her 
another type of ammo capacity. This is going to be beside her, um, the ammo of your active operative or your main operative. Let's say, for example, if you have life, life has um, life usually has a hundred. So ammo capacity. Um, once you trigger inspiring call, she gives you an additional hundred, which has a different you know different ammo type. And um, when when its bullets damage uh, deal damage to target the deployed operatives attack increases note since crossbows don't have uh, magazines star stone tip provides 40 bolts for normal firing and 15 bolts for special firing mode so take note of that you can still use this with crossbows okay so that is it so again this is a nice addition so this increases the attack that is why it increases the damage as well. So take note that bullets are considered normal ballistic ammo and do not affect the magazine's ammo count. So it's just it's just designated as another magazine, basically. Nor are they affected by aptitude bonuses. Skill does not consume star stone. Bullet shooting consumes the star stone clip before using other bullets. So take note with this one, you can basically have infinite ammo. Um, when you use the standard skill, it takes just a short time for Fenny to reload your gun versus reloading the actual, you know, the actual magazine that you have. So this basically gives you, you know, get, gives you less downtime in terms of shooting. So this is going to play well with Fenny Cornet with Chen Sheng, um, the, the, the five star version. So basically again, guys, this is going to be a game changer for all of those units. So with that said, this skill scales uh, with attack. So don't forget to scale your attack further. Um, let's go back to this one. This one also scales, no increase. These are just damages, damage chart on how the damage uh, how many, how how big of a damage that uh, each clip will be dealing? So going towards the ultimate, which is Absolute Star, um, this is like a miniaturized uh, Frisha Hush Ultimate. So basically, Fanny fires a Z Star Flare, kinetic damage. So this also scales on attack. These are the neural skills basically that you will be adding to it. When her when using her ultimate skill, Fanny restores 20 S energy. The damage dealt by her ultimate skill can be affected by ballistics damage bonuses. Can't be affected by ADS uh, ballistic damage and hip fire ballistic damage bonus. So, again, this will be, I think uh, for me is going to be the last of your priorities when building her. Again, we'll go to that in a while. Um, as for her day was alignment, so spirit squad spirit four when equipped with a kinetic weapon, increase full squad ballistic damage by 12%. The scaling of this is a bit small for me, only at 1% because I'm ready at what? Um, I'm ready at uh 500, so basically, your, your base is 300. Then you add the 200 alignment index. That's just a 2% increase. So if this was, I think, 2%, this would be better. So I don't know. I don't know about, you know, I don't know about. But this is a, this is an increase on the full squad's ballistic damage. So this doesn't affect only Fenny, but also her other mates in that team. Okay, so this is her skills. Again, she is support based and she will basically be a, a secondary um, DPS to your team. Okay, moving towards the weapon. So before we go through that, let's move first to the four star version, which I was not able to get because I went directly to the five star version, but the details are as follows. So, if you're planning to use this and if you don't want to spend for the 5-star weapon, this is also serviceable. But take note that the, the buffs here the, um, is go only going to be increased ba uh, ballistic damage by the deployed operative. This scales, of course, to 7.5 once you have this at uh, tier 5. So, please make sure that 
with this weapon you get all you know i think you get all five copies of it so and also if equipping operative is off the field effect doubles for ballistic damage boost this is for all the ballistic damage boost that she receives including her logistics including her the kit herself um so all of it but there is no additional bonus for the ballistic damage boost in the gun itself so it's only one stat here and this one doubles it so going back to going back to Fenny and her gun so let's take a look at her weapon here so for her weapon let's uh, do a train let's do modify because there's a comparison so right now I'm at one copy so at one copy you get 18 percent plus 18 to attack that's big at two copies you get 30 and that is huge so that alone is justifiable that you need to get this gun although the other one is is okay as well as long as you're planning to get this in the future okay so probably a rerun banner if you don't have enough you know currency now in a rerun banner i suggest you get this weapon this is a must for her at some point so also, there is an ignores um, resistance. So ignores 12% for the one piece. For two piece, it's going to be at 20. So a big bump in ignoring resistance. And the last stat to be added, um, it increases ballistic damage by 15 and also doubles when she is off the field. Um, as for two copies, it's going to be 25% ballistic damage. And again, same stat, uh, she increases, it, it goes up to 50 <laughs> when she's off the field. So this gun at tier two is going to be a very, very solid add on as you know, you use her for a, as a support, so as a main support operative. So again, this gun is a must down the line if you have the chance please get this if you aren't able to get this now this is a must pull so again um i understand a lot of players don't have you know don't have the means to get this now again the four star is serviceable very serviceable but in the future please get this if you have the chance to increase the damage of your main operative when fanny ss is on the f is off the field or on the field with your team okay so off to your logistics so we get the logistics obviously for free and the stats here are excellent already you don't have to change it don't re-roll for anything because again um probably okay i was thinking probably you could re-roll for alignment index just in case if you don't want alignment index but um what oh no what else can you more or less you know transfer because alignment index and attack are both um what she needs um probably mm, i can't think of any any stat more that you can transfer here so basically it's going to be alignment index if you're stubborn enough you could swap alignment index for any stat that you want but definitely um have the attack remain align index should stay if you need to get another one of these babies here the third stat however uh should be kinetic damage because she does kinetic damage but might i remind you guys if you're using her for support the add-on for the third stat is not as important to roll for now so it's going to be good in the future if you really want to, you know, build her up as your sub DPS. But right now, kinetic damage is not important in in this build as a support because the even the support skill, let's go back to the support skill. It it doesn't, you know, it doesn't stack on kinetic damage, it stacks on attack. So take note of that, guys, because that is important, you know, in terms of conserving your resources. So that is for your logistic. We don't have really anything to tinker with your logistic because this was free. I uh, just want to go over the stats here. If you're asking if are there any um, alternatives, 
I don't think you have any alternatives because this was really made for 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 Fanny Starshine. When any operative has a Star Stone clip, which you know act is activated by the support, increases their ballistic damage by forty. So nobody can replace that stat. I don't think you can. Um, I wouldn't change it at this point to another. You know, and besides, this is already free. You don't have to re-roll. You know. If, if you're going to be changing this, you're going to have to reroll for another logistic. So, again, stick with this with this logistic. These, this is really good. This is actually built for her. And that is it for your logistics. So, moving next to your manifestation. So, this is a good question. This is a good topic on which we could, um, you know, at least dive more into. Because this requires you to farm her if you are free to play and probably pull some if you want to pull if you have the extra you know if extra bucks to have her at uh, more manifestations so m1 is basically addition giving additional firepower um provided you have a kinetic weapon so each gun that you're using has a different buff so sniper rifle pistol crossbow increases final damage dealt to target weak spots by 15%, which is crazy because these really hit hard already. And there's a 15% add-on to shotguns, increase number of pellets by one. Okay, so additional pellet and for assault rifle, submachine gun and dual submachine gun shots have a 12% to shoot two bullets without consuming additional ammo this one i might say that is a nice it's nice to have but not really that impressive but um at 12 percent um i don't know when does this trigger every time you shoot every time a bullet comes out so we don't know when this 12 percent trigger so this is this is nice to have m1 but this is not really it's kind of okay at this point average um next is going to be your m2 increase ammo capacity of star stone clip by inspiring call to 120 percent which is which is fantastic because um from 100 for life this is going to be 120 and three percent of uh again of fanny um magazine 30 three percent of 30 is actually very small around one or two but again the 120 is actually very very good for weapons for for finished weapon for crossbows instead increase the balls provided normal firing to 48 and special firing mode is going to be 18 so there's a bump on uh bolts that she provides as well for crossbow so this one I think this one is a must have because of the increase of the bullets for M2. For M3 guys, this is inspiring call. This is your um, support scale decreases to 12 and S energy cost to 8. This is not really significant. This is going to be significant if your magazine size is small like a like a pistol. But for a submachine gun or a double submachine gun, which you usually have around 100 for life, you won't trigger your support skill as much because, again, uh, it's going to be copying the amount of, you know, the amount of uh, magazine that you have. If life has 100, Fanny is going to give you 100. But, you know, if you have M2 ready, it's going, life is going to be at, what, 120? So again, this one, depending on who you're bringing, if you're bringing a small magazine operative, this is going to play a big part. If not, then this is not really necessary. But again, if you're going to be using her with a pistol, uh, pistol operative as a main DPS or a shotgun operative, then you have to get M3. But at this point, I wouldn't highly uh, recommend um inspiring call level one so attack bonus for star stone clip increases to 22 of fanny's attack which is nice but the last one i think is kind of big when a star gem clip or star stone clip bullet deals 
ballistic damage ignores 10% of the target's corresponding resistance. So this one gives you additional resistance, guys. So take note of that. Okay, so that is it. Must is up to M2. If you could take her to M M5, I think that would be good. Because the this one, the ignore applies to the main operative even if Fenny is off the field so that is it so next up is neuronics i'm gonna just gonna give you priorities here so priority is going to be your support neuronic next up is going to be your top which is your standard skill and last is going to be your ultimate uh, ultimate so if you're asking me which one is priority so both are priority for support for your standard skill, this one is top priority, no cooldown. This one is the next one. And for your ultimate, the first one, I think, is going to be this one. And the last one is on the left. So that is for your Euronics. Okay, so for team comps, I don't think... I don't think she does really have to have a main, you know, main companion. Um, all of them can actually benefit from her. Um, even though some of these operatives are skill-based, they can still benefit from Fenny if they want to fire their gun. Really, everyone can benefit, which makes her a top support in this game. But best team to have would be... If you want, you know, more burst damage, again, it would be life. So life would be probably her top um, main DP or main DPS. Then she would be your, she would be your, you know, for addis additional um, ballistic damage. And especially if you have Mauser. Mauser rounds out the team. So you have life, infinite sight. You have Fenny SS. And you have Mauxer Shadowka for your top team. Again, I've cleared a lot of stages using them. So more or less, it's it was, you know, you're just basically cutting through through you know through butter with a hot knife with, with that team. So again, that is your best team, but all of them will benefit from Fenny SS. I don't think she has any limitations in terms of support. Um, she has a lot of upside, so you can actually use her with any operative, which makes her part of the top class in supports. So with that, again, let's go back to having a demo. Let's do a demo, guys, on, um, on bosses. Previous demo that I had was really working on life and without any support now that i have two let's see how impressive um especially for fenny how impressive her support is so gun there you go there you go so that's basically around what 12 seconds that was even a not a not a a smooth run for me but that was 11 seconds with Fenny's support boost for ballistic damage that quick guys so with that said let's do another round here but this is going to be for gigalink and let's do one round with only Fenny let's uh you know Try to check out how she is played being your ide ideally a sub DPS or, you know, some of you would do a main DPS for her. So without further ado, I, I won't be using so for here again, try to do the side with her with her um, standard skill. Then again, reload with that one it takes a while. It doesn't take much. You can actually reload even if even if uh, you still have magazine but again you have to be more conscious of the bullets the, not the bullets but the s energy that you consume because at this point you'll be running out so if you want to go with aoe 
not that one. It's really difficult if again if you if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna dodge back. So it's only a few bullets for the AoE. So you have to make sure again with the as you see there on the upper right, it do have less S energy. So I think it's good enough for one. This is a wave here. So let's see how we're going to be defending this. So let us uh, do AOE first. Um, going to be eight bullets. No, forward. Yeah, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be challenged when you select the type of bullet that you need for her because again as you can see there you while i was using the standard skill i moved forward so there you go you can actually shoot the floor to detonate a uh, kind of a grenade type no not that moving forward you only have a few so with your empty have to get more S energy you can just do the standard skill and backwards to generate as you can see you're already full then go back to your AOE no moving forward okay there you go so this is actually a very very fun you know ability for her because it gives you the flexibility of making her a Swiss army knife. So let's uh, do the single bullets with kinetic. She's pretty decent, you know. Not as if that she can't deal damage. She's pretty decent in terms of that. So we'll end that there. Because I do have... Another thing for you guys, um, bonus content for uh, those who don't have her, you know, her skin and also the, the, doesn't have the scenes. <laughs> don't have the scenes. So basically, when you get the seed, I'll just give you guys a sample of what is included in the scene. So there are touches on on the scene here so you can actually pull as you can see there pull further no so let's move to another scene here so I just, I'll, I'll just give you guys a glimpse of what you can do so there you go there are portions that you can manipulate there so you can do a lot of things with the scene. Um, you can actually tickle her there. Uh, no. Oh, it's it's a movement. Okay, it's a ticklish. That is it. Basically, a sneak peek on if you want to get the scene, you know now what it can show. So basically, you have covenant, you have story mode. Again, there's a lot in this interactive scene and there are buttons still to be unlocked for this mode. So thank you very much, guys. That is it. So final thoughts again for Fenny. Again, top. She's going to be top, um, you know, top support, top three. Uh, if you want to include uh, Shadow Ka and also um, Kaguya, Asha Kaguya. She's going to be very, very big in future game modes in future months to come so again try to build her try to get her five star weapon if you can if not now in in you know another rerun of that weapon banner farm for her uh, manifestations she's free get her now and i uh, hope you have fun with her so thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here